The 317th Airlift Group and other C-130 units conducted the largest Air Force-led Joint Force Entry Exercise, also known as JFE. The exercise integrates ground forces with air support to seize lodgments against advanced enemies. C-130 Pilot Lieutenant Colonel Joe Frampton explains why this exercise is so rare. We're in the same piece of airspace as F-16s and some of the reconnaissance and uh, ISR platforms the Air Force has. So it's a unique opportunity for us to work in with those other airframes that we rarely get to practice or train with. 21 C-130s were included in the exercise. Lieutenant Colonel Frampton says C-130s perform well in the JFE's threat environment. The C-130 is the world's premier tactical transport platform. It's really good at dropping a lot of people in a short amount of time. Uh, and we're very good at that low level type of flying in and around a threat environment. That's the, that the sort of environment that we would operate in when we have to do the mission that we were training to do yesterday. After the JFE, Dias pilots continued training with mountainous airdrops and low level flying. We go out and we have an opportunity to go train in a strange environment. Going in the mountains in Washington, we really don't do that. Going out to Idaho and Montana, some of the low levels are going to be out there. Being able to go do that is, is huge. Overall, exercises like these better train military members to operate with sister services so that they are ready to strike anytime, anywhere. One of uh, our nation's key capabilities is the ability to project power anywhere we want, whenever we need to. And so training an exercise like that, we're working not only with C-130s, but also other airframes from around the Air Force, as well as the Army, gives us a chance to practice that key skill so that if we're ever tasked to do that kind of mission, we're ready to do it. Reporting for Dias Air Force Base, Texas, I'm Airman Audrey Harmon-Smith. He's clear. Clear.